I want you to imagine that two people write a test and they both fail. They have very different responses, thoughts, and feelings to this failure. And we're going to look at those, some of those differences and why I want you to look at those differences and how it's going to impact our journey, uh, our journey that we're going to take together. So they've both failed this test. Person number one is thinking and feeling the following types of things. I can't believe I failed. This is ridiculous. I should, should have done better. I should have done this. I should have done that. I should have been able to do this. Maybe I'm not smart enough to keep doing this. Maybe I'm not smart enough for the studying. Maybe I've reached the maximum level that I can. Maybe I actually can't do this. What are people going to think of me? I've disappointed myself. I've disappointed my family. This is What if I never get this right? What if I can't ever do this? And this failure increases their, their stress, their anxiety, and to a large extent, they see it as an indictment on their intelligence. If I was smart, I would not be failing tests. But I did fail a test. So maybe I'm not smart. Person number two sees this failure as an indication that they have something that they need to learn. I need to change what I'm doing. I need to get some help. I need to adjust this. I need to figure out what's gone wrong here so that I can pass. Something went wrong. I'm still missing something. I need to figure out what that is so that I can pass. Can you see that these two people have very different approaches, but they will also have very different levels of stress, anxiety, and very different approaches to how to solve this problem and how to study. The difference between these two people is based on what we call the mindset. The person who worries that the failure may mean that they're not smart is what we call a fixed mindset, where the person who believes that a failure is an indication of something that they need to learn so that they can pass, that is a growth mindset. And understanding the difference between a fixed and a growth mindset is really crucial for you in your studies, because when we understand our mindset, how it impacts our studying, we can start to study more effectively and do better in our studies and our exams. Number one, if you fail something, whether it's an exam, a test, questions that you do, and it makes you worry that you're not smart enough, what does this mean? I'm going to disappoint people around me. Maybe this means that I'm not smart. If I was smart, I wouldn't get this wrong. Those types of things. That takes up quite a lot of mental energy. If we imagine that our mental energy is a battery, we have 100% of mental energy available for the day. If we are eating up 40% of our mental energy by worrying about what people think of us, worrying about how the failure is going to impact us, worrying about whether or not we're ever going to pass, worrying about what this means for my career, maybe I'm never going to be able to do this, maybe I'm not smart enough, I've disappointed myself, I've disappointed my family, what's going to happen if I was writing the exam tomorrow, I would fail, etc. If, if I was smart, this wouldn't be happening, so what's going on here? That's a lot of baggage. So the first reason that I focus on mindset is because for most of my students, an enormous amount of their mental energy is being eaten up by baggage created by a fixed mindset. You are spending mental energy and it's not effective. If you are carrying this baggage with you through all of your studying, it will impact the way that you study because by default, subconsciously, your brain will try and help you avoid situations where you land up in the same negative, um, the same negative environment or the same environment that triggers all of those fears and unhappiness and negativity for you. So your brain finds an alternative route. And we'll give you all sorts of reasons and justifications about why this route is better. But the reality is the consequence is you can't quite understand that even though you've spent you know, four hours a night studying every night and your weekends, you have three questions that you did in the whole month. Even though you absolutely believe that doing questions are really important, I'm supposed to do them, et cetera, et cetera. So the impact that our mindsets have on our actions cannot be underestimated.
I don't discuss your mindset with you as a motivational topic or something warm and fuzzy to make you feel better. Of course, I'd love, of course, I'd love to make you feel warm and fuzzy about your studies, but I am predominantly interested in the effectiveness of your study session. And if you are carrying a fixed mindset into your study sessions, then the way that you study is very unlikely to be effective. Let me ask you this question. If I gave you a question right now on a topic that you're not comfortable with and you had the choice to do the question and give it to me, let me mark it or take the question, do it yourself and work on it on your own, which option would you instinctively go for? Logically, if I said to you, I want you to do a question for me, give it to me so I can mark it and help you. Now, that is the smartest possible approach you could take in order to get help for the areas you struggle with the fastest. A growth mindset uh, would say, this is a no brainer. Let me do the question quickly. Let me give it to you. Okay, tell me what I need to work on. Like, tell me what I've been missing all this time. Like, let's figure this out. A fixed mindset is going, give it to me. I'm going to take it back. I'm going to take it back to where I feel safe, where I feel comfortable. With. I'm going to work on it. I don't want you to see it. Maybe in three weeks time, when I have studied the topic, when I've revised it, when I've done all sorts of other things and I've worked and I've worked and I've worked on it, when I'm done with my work, then I will bring you something that I feel comfortable with giving you. But I don't want you to see what I'm doing right now. If you imagine these two people, which of these two people are more likely to spend more of their study time doing questions and learning from them? No question that the growth mindset is quite happy to just keep failing questions. Whereas a fixed mindset, the more questions they fail, the stupider they feel. A growth mindset feels that we fail so that we learn. We genuinely feel that we fail so that we learn. A fixed mindset believes that we fail because we're not smart. If we were smart, we wouldn't be failing. I want you to think about how that impacts the way that you study.